We Robotics recently teamed up with the Peruvian Ministry of Health to explore whether flying robots could be used to deliver antivenom in the Amazon rainforest. You may have already heard about the successful cargo drone deliveries, but what you don't know is what happened behind the scenes. A large $40,000 drone was brought in to fly the antivenom, but after three days of testing, the cargo drone could barely fly. No deliveries were made. The field tests were effectively cancelled. So we robotics needed a plan B, and fast. By chance, Peru Flying Labs had taken Frankie with them to the Amazon. Frankie, named after Frankenstein by our Peruvian team, is an old battered mapping drone with several rubber bands and layers of duct tape holding it together. The drone cost $3,000 and the team suggested we use Frankie to deliver the antivenom. We would simply remove Frankie's camera and replace it with the medicine. The team got to work programming and testing Frankie for the 40 km flight from Contamana to the village of Pampa Hermosa. In the meantime, the rest of the team took the riverboat to Pampa Hermosa to await Frankie's arrival. All we needed now was our cold pack and the antivenom, which was kindly supplied by the local doctor in Contamana. After the pack was inserted into Frankie's cargo bay, it was time to fly. But there was no guarantee that Frankie would even make it halfway. In fact, the drone had never been used for cargo delivery before and had never flown that far either. So we simply had to hope for the best. Around 4pm, the team in Contamana launched Frankie into the air and watched it disappear into the distance. We estimated that it would take Frankie about 30 minutes to reach Pampa Hermosa, compared to 6 hours with the regular riverboat. Over in Pampa Hermosa, the Wii Robotics team waited, scanning the skies for any sign of Frankie. Villagers had also turned up at the football field to witness the first ever drone landing in their village. The local doctors had arranged to have a young boy simulate a snake bite. They would then simulate the administering of the antivenom as soon as Frankie landed with the cold pack. But there was no sign of Frankie. And then, all of a sudden, villagers began to shout, pointing to the sky. And there was Frankie, gliding along as programmed. Moments later, Frankie landed smoothly on the field and our patient was treated for his snake bite by the local doctors. For the return flight, we decided to fly at night, so we taped a bike light to Frankie's nose. That way, the team in Contamana would actually be able to see the drone coming in for landing. The doctor in Pampa Hermosa had noted that sending blood samples to Contamana was often necessary to diagnose patients, so if they could fly the blood sample to Contamana, where it could be tested, then they could diagnose the patient a whole lot faster. So we Robotics offered to be the patient, donating blood for this good cause. The team placed we Robotics blood sample in the cold pack and then into the drone. Shortly before 10pm, Frankie took off into the dark night. Over in Contamana, the team had invited locals with motorbikes to light up the runway for Frankie's landing on the football field. Soon, all eyes were scanning the night sky for Frankie's one light. 35 minutes had already passed, but Frankie was nowhere in sight. And then, out in the darkness, a light began to shine. It was Frankie coming in for landing. But this time, Frankie decided to do his own thing, flying past the field and landing on a coconut tree instead. But the blood sample was intact, and the lightweight drone, which is made out of foam, only needed a small $3 part replaced in order to fly again. After rescuing Frankie from the tree, the local doctor engaged with the community to present the results of the project, and to explain why she will continue working with Wii Robotics on drone deliveries in the Amazon rainforest.